I fell in hook, hook line, and sinker. And Mac like, Gurley is still angry with himself for getting lured into the Ponzi scheme run by Gina Palacini. I did one of the most stupid things I ever did in my lifetime. I wrote her a check for $100,000. Palacini approached Gurley and other elderly victims, many of them veterans, offering to help them obtain government benefits. I thought she was representing the VA. I was even more so convinced when she freely invited me to her house, introduced me to her family. Gurley says he truly believed he was getting benefits available to him because he was a veteran. So what she would do was convince them to reallocate, diversify their assets into an annuity, into an, uh, uh, for a, a, the family trust. But instead of putting that money in the annuity, she would put it in her business expense account. She would then wire that money from her expense account to personal accounts and then just write checks like it was her job. Postal inspectors say the mother of four spent most of the money on her children. She would take her kids on vacations, elaborate vacations. Like most Ponzi schemes, Palacini's scam unraveled. Once the victim started asking questions, that's when the excuses started coming out. In all, 13 victims lost two million dollars. It's heartbreaking. They uh, worked their entire lives for anywhere from uh, being a firefighter to a pastor to being in the military. Uh, she targeted again those that, um, that were elderly but also those that were veterans. Mac Gurley says he's learned a lesson and is less trusting but targeting the elderly he believes is inexcusable. They have reduced himself to the lowest rank in the human chain.